Square Inventory Management Tutorial 2023 Step-by-Step -step Tutorial for Beginners Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another great e-commerce tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be discussing and talking about Square Inventory Management. This is going to be a very descriptive and uh, in-depth tutorial, so please do make sure to watch this till the end and listen to all the details I have to provide you with, because if you do that properly, then I guarantee you that by the end of this video, you're going to properly know how to use Square Inventory Management. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, do remember, I am talking about Square, Square as in Square Up not square space. They both are two different things. One is squareup.com and the other is square space. Again, square up is going to be a proper square logo. Square space is totally different. So please do not go on square space. This is an e-commerce website. We don't want to build a website or anything. We're going to go with the square up inventory management. Again, square up. Okay, so now that we've cleared it, that it's not Squarespace, it's Square Up, we're going to go on their free inventory management software, and uh, we're going to obviously get into their website. So here we are, squareup.com, Square Inventory Management, free inventory management you can count on. Now, obviously, if you come here, we can see all these different things that come with the inventory management. Manage inventory anywhere for free. Sign in to you, your free Square dashboard from any computer and handle your inventory from anywhere. No commitments, no surprises. It's built for speed. Square inventory is designed to help you spend less time in front of the screen and more time with your customers. Manage your inventory in bulk. Download reports on current inventory and update inventory quantities in bulk, which is helpful when adding new inventory. Know when you're low. Receive a daily stock alert email detailing items that are low or out. So you always know how much you have in stock, which is like, come on, that's an amazing feature. Then it's there's fast setup. Import thousands of products quickly with CSV spreadsheets. Easily add inventory whenever item counts uh, need adjusting. Downloadable reports. Export your inventory stock levels at any time to a printable spreadsheet and stock alerts. Receive a daily email detailing items that are low or out of stock. Edit items with ease. Manage details like names, quantities, or prices quickly and easily from the Square dashboard or directly on the Point of Sale app. Speed up the line with quick, easy modifiers. Add soy milk, weak coffee item modifiers. Make it simple to get your customer's order just right. More advanced inventory tools available. Square for Retail gives you a suite of pre premium tools including multi-location inventory management, cost of goods sold and projected, profit reporting, and purchased orders. And you also have your different testimonials and stuff like that. Now, if you were to go with pricing, it has a totally free signup. So like, let's go ahead and discuss like the main pricings. It has a free signup, but in the pricing section, like obviously there's the free one. There's the plus one where you can get advanced features designed specifically for restaurants, retailers, or appointment-based businesses. Upgrade when you want to, cancel anytime. It's like a normal... $29 per month, which is like a pretty good price in my opinion. And then obviously there's the premium plan where you can like keep your custom stuff and everything. And according to that, you're going to get the price. Now that we've discussed all of that, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on get started to get straight into Square Up's inventory management. Now, once we're here, it says, let's create your account, protected payments, easy to set up and use real time insights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a temp mail to sign myself up with this. But uh, if like if you're doing this for the long run, I recommend that you use a proper email, please. Uh, but like it's totally up to you. You can use a temp mail, but in my opinion, just use a proper email. So I'm just going to do that. Keep a strong password. Obviously, you're going to put in your location, agree to their terms and then click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, obviously, it's going to verify you. It's going to see if you're okay. And then welcome to Square. Which type of merchant best describes you? I'm going to go with individual for now. And uh, you're going to create a name if you want to. What type of business do you run? Just go with any. I'm just going to go with sporting goods for now. It's a retail business. 
we're almost there. We need to verify your identity. So you're going to click on continue and uh, you're obviously going to add your legal details. Now, once you add your legal details, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to like ask you all this stuff and more like that. It also asks you your SSN and your ITIN. And once you've obviously entered all that, you're going to come to a page like this. So this is what you're going to see in front of you. This is like the whole square up uh, inventory page. And you're probably like wondering what is this? Like there's a lot going on. Don't worry. It's pretty simple stuff. In the left hand side, you have your orders, inventory, suppliers, resources and stuff like that. In the right hand side, you obviously have your main handle where you're going to see all the details and information about your orders. So you can see your order names. You can see your suppliers, your categories, your price per UOM, your main UOM, minimum on hand pounds, you your peri pounds, and then your last count on hand, on hand value, and much, much more. So you basically get a great overview of all the inventory. You can add new items, you can remove new items, you can like set the prices. And you can just be up to date with everything that's going on with your store, maybe, or something like that. Now, do make sure to integrate it with your store because like it's like adding a data stream, because if you don't give it the data that it needs to, you know, configure and like the data it needs to look out for it, then like it doesn't matter. It doesn't work well. So just make sure to add a good data stream. And once a good data stream is added, just start working out with as much as you like. You're like going to see these pages where you can set different locations of your shipments. And you're going to also see this. You have your inventory history where you can see your history uh, related to your inventories and stuff like that. And then you also have your basic inventory management where let's say you're editing a variation of something in your stock or something like in your products or content. Uh, you're going to add your names, your unit cost. You are also going to add your sales information. Uh, which is your GTIN, your SKU code, your unit as default, your price for everything that, you know, your product and stuff like that. And yeah, basically you're going to add all of those stuff. And yeah, once you've done all of this, I think you're good to go. So yeah, that is basically all there is when it comes to your square inventory management. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video and if this video was helpful to you, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot, truly. And uh, like, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll make them for you ASAP. And like, if you have any issues or queries, please let me know those as well because I want to fix them for you as soon as possible. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you for watching. That was all from me. Goodbye.